Black Pepper, Wikipedia article audio Black Pepper is a flowering vine in the family Piperaceae, cultivated for its fruit which is usually dried and used as a spice and seasoning, known as a peppercorn. When fresh and fully mature, it is approximately 5 mm in diameter and dark red, and contains a single seed like all droops. Peppercorns and the ground pepper derived from them may be described simply as pepper, or more precisely as black pepper, green pepper, and white pepper. Black pepper is native to South India and is extensively cultivated there and elsewhere in tropical regions. Currently, Vietnam is the world's largest producer and exporter of pepper, producing 34% of the world's Piper nigrum crop as of 2013. Etymology Varieties Dried ground pepper has been used since antiquity both for its flavor and as a traditional medicine. Black pepper is the world's most traded spice and is one of the most common spices added to cuisines around the world. Its spiciness is due to the chemical piperine, not to be confused with the capsaicin characteristic of chili peppers. It is ubiquitous in the modern world as a seasoning and is often paired with salt. The word pepper has roots in the Sanskrit word pipali for long pepper. Ancient Greek and Latin turned pipali into the Greek pi pi epsilon rho iota pepperi and then into the Latin piper, which the Romans used for both black pepper and long pepper, erroneously believing that both came from the same plant. From its Sanskrit roots, today's pepper is derived from the Old English piper and from Latin, which is the source of Romanian piper, Italian pepe, Dutch pepper, German pfeffer, French poivre, and other similar forms. In the 16th century, people began using pepper to also mean the unrelated New World chili pepper. People have also used pepper in a figurative sense to mean spirit or energy at least as far back as the 1840s. In the early 20th century, this shortened to pep. Black pepper is produced from the still green, unripe droops of the pepper plant. The droops are cooked briefly in hot water, both to clean them and to prepare them for drying. The heat ruptures cell walls in the pepper, speeding the work of browning enzymes during drying. The droops dry in the sun or by machine for several days, during which the pepper around the seed shrinks and darkens into a thin, wrinkled black layer. Once dry, the spice is called black peppercorn. On some estates, the berries are separated from the stem by hand and then sun-dried without the boiling process. Black Pepper Once the peppercorns are dried, Pepper spirit and oil can be extracted from the berries by crushing them. Pepper spirit is used in many medicinal and beauty products. Pepper oil is also used as an Ayurvedic massage oil and in certain beauty and herbal treatments. Black pepper essential oil in a clear glass vial. White pepper. Ground black pepper in a plastic pepper shaker. Roughly cracked black peppercorns, also known as mignonette or poivre mignonette. White pepper consists solely of the seed of the pepper plant, with the darker colored skin of the pepper fruit removed. This is usually accomplished by a process known as redding, where fully ripe red pepper berries are soaked in water for about a week, during which the flesh of the pepper softens and decomposes. Rubbing then removes what remains of the fruit, and the naked seed is dried. Sometimes alternative processes are used for removing the outer pepper from the seed, including removing the outer layer through mechanical, chemical, or biological methods. Green Pepper Ground white pepper is used in Chinese and Thai cuisine, but also in salads, cream sauces, light-colored sauces, and mashed potatoes. 
white pepper has a different flavor from black pepper, it lacks certain compounds present in the outer layer of the droop. Wild pepper Green pepper, like black, is made from the unripe droops. Dried green peppercorns are treated in a way that retains the green color, such as treatment with sulfur dioxide, canning or freeze-drying. Pickled peppercorns, also green, are unripe droops preserved in brine or vinegar. Fresh, unpreserved green pepper droops, largely unknown in the West, are used in some Asian cuisines, particularly Thai cuisine. Their flavor has been described as spicy and fresh, with a bright aroma. They decay quickly if not dried or preserved. Orange Pepper and Red Pepper Wild pepper grows in the Western Ghats region of India. Into the 19th century, the forests contained expansive wild pepper vines, as recorded by the Scottish physician Francis Buchanan in his book A Journey from Madras through the countries of Mysore, Kanara, and Malabar. However, deforestation resulted in wild pepper growing in more limited forest patches from Goa to Kerala, with the wild source gradually decreasing as the quality and yield of the cultivated variety improved. No successful grafting of commercial pepper on wild pepper has been achieved to date. Orange pepper or red pepper usually consists of ripe red pepper droops preserved in brine and vinegar. Ripe red peppercorns can also be dried using the same color preserving techniques used to produce green pepper. Pink pepper and other plants used as pepper. Pink peppercorns are the fruits of a plant from a different family, the Peruvian pepper tree, Skynus mall, or its relative the Brazilian pepper tree, Skynus terebinthifolius. As they are members of the cashew family, they may cause allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis, for persons with a tree nut allergy. The bark of Dremis wintery is used as a substitute for pepper in cold and temperate regions of Chile and Argentina where it is easily available. In New Zealand the seeds of kawakawa, a relative of black pepper, are sometimes used as pepper, and the leaves of Sudau in terra colorata are another replacement for pepper. Several plants in the United States are used also as pepper substitutes such as Lepidium campester, Lepidium virginicum, shepherd's purse, horseradish, and field pennycress. The pepper plant is a perennial woody vine growing up to 4 meters in height on supporting trees, poles, or trellises. It is a spreading vine, rooting readily where trailing stems touch the ground. The leaves are alternate, entire. 5 to 10 cm long and 3 to 6 cm across. The flowers are small, produced on pendulous spikes 4 to 8 cm long at the leaf nodes, the spikes lengthening up to 7 to 15 cm as the fruit matures. The fruit of the black pepper is called a droop and when dried is known as a peppercorn. Plant Pepper can be grown in soil that is neither too dry nor susceptible to flooding, moist, well-drained and rich in organic matter above sea level. The plants are propagated by cuttings about 40 to 50 centimeters long, tied up to neighboring trees or climbing frames at distances of about 2 meters apart. Trees with rough bark are favored over those with smooth bark, as the pepper plants climb rough bark more readily. Competing plants are cleared away, leaving only sufficient trees to provide shade and permit free ventilation. The roots are covered in leaf mulch and manure, and the shoots are trimmed twice a year. On dry soils the young plants require watering every other day during the dry season for the first three years. The plants bear fruit from the fourth or fifth year, and then typically for seven years. The cuttings are usually cultivars, selected both for yield and quality of fruit. 
Production and Trade A single stem bears 20 to 30 fruiting spikes. The harvest begins as soon as one or two fruits at the base of the spikes begin to turn red, and before the fruit is fully mature, and still hard, if allowed to ripen completely, the fruit lose pungency, and ultimately fall off and are lost. The spikes are collected and spread out to dry in the sun, then the peppercorns are stripped off the spikes. Black pepper is native either to Southeast Asia or South Asia. Within the genus Piper, it is most closely related to other Asian species such as Piper caninum. Piper nigramon tree support in Goa, India. Pepper vine, Tiravanamalet, Tamil Nadu, India. History Ancient Times Post-Classical Europe China As of 2013, Vietnam was the world's largest producer and exporter of black peppercorns, producing 163,000 tons or 34% of the world total of 473,000 tons. Other major producers include Indonesia, India, and Brazil. Global pepper production may vary annually according to crop management, disease, and weather. Vietnam dominates the export market, using almost none of its production domestically. Peppercorns are among the most widely traded spice in the world, accounting for 20% of all spice imports. Pepper is native to South Asia and Southeast Asia and has been known to Indian cooking since at least 2000 BCE. J. Innes Miller notes that while pepper was grown in southern Thailand and in Malaysia, its most important source was India, particularly the Malabar coast, in what is now the state of Kerala. The lost ancient port city of Musiris in Kerala, famous for exporting black pepper and various other spices, gets mentioned in a number of classical historical sources. Peppercorns were a much prized trade good, often referred to as black gold and used as a form of commodity money. The legacy of this trade remains in some Western legal systems that recognize the term peppercorn rent as a token payment for something that is, essentially, being given. The ancient history of black pepper is often interlinked with that of long pepper, the dried fruit of closely related piper longum. The Romans knew of both and often referred to either as just piper. In fact, it was not until the discovery of the New World and of chili peppers that the popularity of long pepper entirely declined. Chili peppers some of which, when dried, are similar in shape and taste to long pepper were easier to grow in a variety of locations more convenient to Europe. Before the 16th century, pepper was being grown in Java, Sunda, Sumatra, Madagascar, Malaysia, and everywhere in Southeast Asia. These areas traded mainly with China, or used the pepper locally. Ports in the Malabar area also served as a stop-off point for much of the trade in other spices from farther east in the Indian Ocean. Following the British hegemony in India, virtually all of the black pepper found in Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa was traded from Malabar region. Black peppercorns were found stuffed in the nostrils of Ramesses too placed there as part of the mummification rituals shortly after his death in 1213 BCE. Little else is known about the use of pepper in ancient Egypt and how it reached the Nile from South Asia. Phytochemicals, Folk Medicine and Research Pepper was known in Greece at least as early as the 4th century BCE though it was probably an uncommon and expensive item that only the very rich could afford. By the time of the early Roman Empire, especially after Rome's conquest of Egypt in 30 BCE, 
open ocean crossing of the Arabian Sea direct to southern India's Malabar coast was near routine. Details of this trading across the Indian Ocean have been passed down in the Periplus of the Erythrian Sea. According to the Roman geographer Strabo, the early empire sent a fleet of around 120 ships on an annual one-year trip to China, Southeast Asia, India, and back. The fleet timed its travel across the Arabian Sea to take advantage of the predictable monsoon winds. Returning from India, the ships travelled up the Red Sea, from where the cargo was carried overland or via the Nile Red Sea Canal to the Nile River, barged to Alexandria, and shipped from there to Italy and Rome. The rough geographical outlines of this same trade route would dominate the pepper trade into Europe for a millennium and a half to come. With ships sailing directly to the Malabar coast, black pepper was now traveling a shorter trade route than long pepper, and the prices reflected it. Pliny the Elder's natural history tells us the prices in Rome around 77 CE, long pepper, is 15 denarii per pound, while that of white pepper is 7, and of black, 4. Pliny also complains, there is no year in which India does not drain the Roman Empire of 50 million sesterces, and further moralizes on pepper. Nutrition Flavor It is quite surprising that the use of pepper has come so much into fashion, seeing that in other substances which we use, it is sometimes their sweetness, and sometimes their appearance that has attracted our notice whereas, pepper has nothing in it that can plead as a recommendation to either fruit or berry, its only desirable quality being a certain pungency, and yet it is for this that we import it all the way from India. Who was the first to make trial of it as an article of food? And who, I wonder, was the man that was not content to prepare himself by hunger only for the satisfying of a greedy appetite? Black pepper was a well-known and widespread, if expensive, seasoning in the Roman Empire. Apicius de Recoquinaria, a 3rd century cookbook probably based at least partly on one from the 1st century CE, includes pepper in a majority of its recipes. Edward Gibbon wrote, in the history of the decline and fall of the Roman Empire, that pepper was a favorite ingredient of the most expensive Roman cookery. Pepper was so valuable that it was often used as collateral or even currency. In the Dutch language, pepper expensive is an expression for something very expensive. The taste for pepper was passed on to those who would see Rome fall. Alaric the Visigoth included 3,000 pounds of pepper as part of the ransom he demanded from Rome when he besieged the city in 5th century. After the fall of Rome, others took over the middle legs of the spice trade, first the Persians and then the Arabs. Innes Miller cites the account of Cosmus Indicoplusts, who travelled east to India as proof that pepper was still being exported from India in the 6th century. By the end of the early Middle Ages, the central portions of the spice trade were firmly under Islamic control. Once into the Mediterranean, the trade was largely monopolized by Italian powers, especially Venice and Genoa. The rise of these city-states was funded in large part by the spice trade. A riddle authored by St. Aldhelm, a 7th-century bishop of Sherburne, sheds some light on Black Pepper's role in England at that time. I am black on the outside, clad in a wrinkled cover, yet within I bear a burning marrow, I. Season delicacies, the banquets of kings, and the luxuries of the table, both the sauces and the tenderized meats of the kitchen, but you will find in me no quality of any worth, unless your bowels have been rattled by my gleaming marrow. Notes and References 
It is commonly believed that during the Middle Ages, pepper was used to conceal the taste of partially rotten meat. There is no evidence to support this claim, and historians view it as highly unlikely. In the Middle Ages, pepper was a luxury item, affordable only to the wealthy, who certainly had unspoiled meat available as well. In addition, people of the time certainly knew that eating spoiled food would make them sick. Similarly, the belief that pepper was widely used as a preservative is questionable, it is true that piperine, the compound that gives pepper its spiciness, has some antimicrobial properties, but at the concentrations present when pepper is used as a spice, the effect is small. Salt is a much more effective preservative, and salt-cured meats were common fare, especially in winter. However, pepper and other spices certainly played a role in improving the taste of long-preserved meats. Its exorbitant price during the Middle Ages and the monopoly on the trade held by Italy was one of the inducements that led the Portuguese to seek a sea route to India. In 1498, Vasco da Gama became the first person to reach India by sailing around Africa, asked by Arabs in Calicut why they had come, his representative replied, We seek Christians and spices. Though this first trip to India by way of the southern tip of Africa was only a modest success, the Portuguese quickly returned in greater numbers and eventually gained much greater control of trade on the Arabian Sea. The 1494 Treaty of Tordesillas with the Spanish granted Portugal exclusive rights to the half of the world where black pepper originated. Unsurprisingly, the Portuguese proved unable to monopolize the spice trade. Older Arab and Venetian trade networks successfully imported enormous quantities of spices, and pepper once again flowed through Alexandria and Italy, as well as around Africa. In the 17th century, the Portuguese lost almost all of their valuable Indian Ocean trade to the Dutch and the English who, taking advantage from the Spanish ruling over Portugal during Iberian Union, occupied by force almost all Portuguese dominations in the area. The pepper ports of Malabar began to trade increasingly with the Dutch in the period 1661-1663. As pepper supplies into Europe increased, the price of pepper declined. Pepper, which in the early Middle Ages had been an item exclusively for the rich, started to become more of an everyday seasoning among those of more average means. Today, pepper accounts for one-fifth of the world's spice trade. It is possible that black pepper was known in China in the 2nd century BCE, if poetic reports regarding an explorer named Tang Meng are correct. Sent by Emperor Wu to what is now southwest China, Tang Meng is said to have come across something called Zhujiang or sauce beetle. He was told it came from the markets of Shu, an area in what is now the Sichuan province. The traditional view among historians is that sauce beetle is a sauce made from beetle leaves, but arguments have been made that it actually refers to pepper, either long or black. In the 3rd century CE, Black pepper made its first definite appearance in Chinese texts as hujiao or foreign pepper. It does not appear to have been widely known at the time, failing to appear in a 4th century work describing a wide variety of spices from beyond China's southern border, including long pepper. By the 12th century, however, Black pepper had become a popular ingredient in the cuisine of the wealthy and powerful, sometimes taking the place of China's native Sichuan pepper. Marco Polo testifies to pepper's popularity in 13th century China when he relates what he is told of its consumption in the city of Kinsei. 
Messer Marco heard it stated by one of the great Khan's officers of customs that the quantity of pepper introduced daily for consumption into the city of Kinsay amounted to 43 loads, each load being equal to 223 pounds. Marco Polo is not considered a very reliable source regarding China, and this second-hand data may be even more suspect but if this estimated £10,000 a day for one city is anywhere near the truth, China's pepper imports may have dwarfed Europe's. During the course of the treasure voyages in the early 15th century, Admiral Zheng He and his expeditionary fleets returned with such a large amount of black pepper that the once costly luxury became a common commodity. Like many Eastern spices, pepper was historically both a seasoning and a folk medicine. Long pepper, being stronger, was often the preferred medication, but both were used. Black pepper was believed to cure several illnesses, such as constipation, insomnia, oral abscesses, sunburn, and toothaches, among others. Various sources from the 5th century onward recommended pepper to treat eye problems, often by applying salves or poultices made with pepper directly to the eye. There is no current medical evidence that any of these treatments has any benefit. Pepper is known to cause sneezing. Some sources say that piperine, a substance present in black pepper, irritates the nostrils, causing the sneezing. Few, if any, controlled studies have been carried out to answer the question. Bibliography Piperine is under study for its potential to increase absorption of selenium, vitamin B12, beta-carotene and curcumin, as well as other compounds. As a folk medicine, pepper appears in the Buddhist Samanaphala Sutta, Chapter 5, as one of the few medicines a monk is allowed to carry. Pepper contains phytochemicals, including amides, piperidines, pyrrolidines and trace amounts of saffron, which may be carcinogenic in laboratory rodents. Piperine is under study for a variety of possible physiological effects. Although this work is preliminary and mechanisms of activity for piperine in the human body remain unknown. One tablespoon of ground black pepper contains moderate amounts of vitamin K, iron, and manganese, with trace amounts of other essential nutrients, protein, and dietary fiber. Pepper gets its spicy heat mostly from piperine derived both from the outer fruit and the seed. Black pepper contains between 4.6% and 9.7% piperine by mass, and white pepper slightly more than that. Refined piperine, by weight, is about 1% as hot as the capsaicin found in chili peppers. The outer fruit layer, left on black pepper, also contains aroma contributing terpenes, including germacreni, limonene, pinene, alpha philandrine, and beta caryophyllene, which give citrusy, woody, and floral notes. These scents are mostly missing in white pepper, which is stripped of the fruit layer. White pepper can gain different odors from its longer fermentation stage. The aroma of pepper is attributed to rotundun agiline-1-1, a sesquiterpene originally discovered in the tubers of Cyperus rotundus, which can be detected in concentrations of 0.4 nanograms L in water and in wine. Rotundun is also present in marjoram, oregano, rosemary, basil, thyme, and geranium, as well as in some Shiraz wines. Pepper loses flavor and aroma through evaporation so airtight storage helps preserve its spiciness longer. Pepper can also lose flavor when exposed to light, which can transform piperine into nearly tasteless ISO chavacine. Once ground, pepper's aromatics can evaporate quickly, 
most culinary sources recommend grinding whole peppercorns immediately before use for this reason. Handheld pepper mills or grinders, which mechanically grind or crush whole peppercorns, are used for this, sometimes instead of pepper shakers that dispense pre-ground pepper. Spice mills such as pepper mills were found in European kitchens as early as the 14th century, but the mortar and pestle used earlier for crushing pepper have remained a popular method for centuries as well.